Hi friends, in this video let us understand what is the actual difference between law of independent assortment and law of segregation proposed by Gregor Mendel. For that let us consider this seed color and seed shape. As we know this yellow seed color is dominant over green and round seed shape is dominant over wrinkled. Let's begin with the monohybrid cross. So here the parental generation, that is parent is homozygous, capital Y, capital Y, yellow, that is cross with homozygous recessive green small y small y so it will be producing only one type of gamete so gamete capital y here here it is small y and the f1 progeny or offspring is heterozygous capital y and small y now we can understand what is actually segregation so during the formation of gamete in this plant what happens is this alleles segregate the capital Y and small y segregates and each moves into one gamete. So this gamete is having only capital Y and this gamete is having only small y. So there are two possible gametes that is capital Y and small y. This is called the law of segregation. During the gamete formation, the alleles segregate and each gamete is pure for an allele or each gamete can have only one allele, never both. The, this capital Y and small y together with this gamete is an impossibility. Hope you are clear. Now what happens is in F2, these are the gametes capital Y, small y. If when, it, when this is selfed, this is capital Y, small y. We know that this becomes capital Y, capital Y, capital Y, small y, capital Y, small y, and small y, small y. So he got 3 is to 1 phenotypic ratio and 1 is to 2 is to 1 genotypic ratio, suggesting that one character is dominant over other character. The character that is expressed in F1 is called as a dominant character and the character that is masked in the F1 and reappeared in F2 is a recessive character. Here the yellow is a dominant character and green that is reappeared in F2 is a recessive character. Hope this much is clear. So this is the genotypic and phenotypic ratio, 3 is to 1 phenotypic ratio. And he found out that distinct traits were controlled by separate factors. And he proposed that the law of segregation, it states that two alleles, that is capital Y and small y, for each trait segregate or separate during the formation of gametes. So it separates so that each gamete has only one allele, never both. This gamete can have either capital Y or small y. It cannot have capital Y and small y. This is called the law of segregation or law of separation of alleles during gamete formation. Hope you are clear. The next question he posed is, are these traits inherited independently of one another? For that, he conducted the next experiment. Before this experiment, he was an excellent mathematician also. By probability, he found out that if this is independently assorting, this will happen. Let us see. The phenotypic ratio in the case of monohybrid cross is 3 is to 1. So this is the phenotypic ratio. Whereas round seed and wrinkled seed, it is also 3 is to 1. He used the product rule. The probability of two or more independent events occurring is a product obtained by multiplying the probabilities of individual events. Multiply the individual phenotypic probability. Let us see. Suppose first case, yellow round, the probability of appearing yellow round, if it is, if these two traits are independently segregating is 3 by 4 into 3 by 4. That is here, yellow is 3 by 4, round is also 3 by 4. So that will be 3 into 3, 9, 9 by 16. The probability of forming getting yellow round is 9 by 16. Yellow wrinkled, yellow is 3 by 4. As you see, this is 3 by 4, whereas wrinkled is 1 by 4. So it will be 3 into 1, 3 by 16. Yellow wrinkled, the number of progenies, the ratio will be 3 by 16. Then green round, green is 1 by 4. So 1 by 4 into green round is 3 by 4. 3 by 4, that will be 3 by 16. And green wrinkled, both are received 1 by 4 into 1 by 4. So that will be 1 by 16. After dihybrid cross, 
if we are getting this ratio, when they'll confirm that both these traits are independently assorting. Then he conducted the experiment. That is the dihybrid cross using two distinct traits. Let us take the same traits. Here capital Y, capital Y, capital R, capital R, small y, small y, small r, small r, yellow, round and yellow, wrinkled. So the gametes are capital Y, capital R, small y, small r. So in the first generation, it becomes capital Y, capital small y, capital R, small r. So what happens is during gamete formation, each combination, so all the possible combinations are formed in equal percentage. Capital Y, capital R, small y, small r, small y, capital R, small y, small r. All these possible combinations are formed in equal percentage. He did the dihybrid cross and he got 9 out of 16 the parental types in the ratio. Then as expected, green round and yellow wrinkled, the recombinant ones, and 1 by 16, that is a recessive one, that is a parental recessive. So as expected, as predicted, he got the 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio. From this, he proposed that, states that genes do not influence each other with regard to the sorting of alleles into gametes. These two traits, the color and the shape of the seed, both are independently assorting and one is not influencing the other. Or every possible combination of alleles for every gene that is equally likely to occur. He got all possible combination of phenotypes. This is how Mendel proposed the law of independent assortment. Let me summarize. Law of segregation states that during the formation of gametes, the alleles separate so that each gamete can have only one allele, never both. Whereas law of independent assortment states that the genes do not influence each other with regard to the sorting of alleles into gametes. Distinct traits are independently assorting, forming all possible combinations of phenotypes. There are exceptions in the case of linked genes or genetic linkage. We have given a video on that. Based on Morgan's experiment, you can refer that. Also, the link is here. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforit.com.